All right, so I have another set of videos on how I modeled this guy and textured and unwrapped him. Uh, for now, th what we're doing in these set of videos is we're going to take a look at how to rig and skin uh, this character, something like this. So you can, you know, rig him up and uh, animate him. He's like my uh, futuristic garbage can, garbage man character, rather. Um, it's a, a self pseudo self portrait of myself. So let's take a look at uh, how we start off by first building the joint chain, and then we're going to get into IK, IKFK switches, uh, facial rigs, all that stuff. All right, so what I want to do first is just go to my preferences at the bottom here and go to my settings and make sure that I'm in meters. And let's uh, go to our uh, front view here. I'm going to hide my outliner by holding control and spacebar. And that gives me um, expert mode, which the reason I use a lot of expert mode is because if you hold the space bar down, you pretty much can access everything you need to hear. Um, and you could just expand your attribute editor or your channel box. And the channel box is what we're going to be needing because I, I tend to just break the body up into two layers. So for this layer, this is the bottom. And then I highlight the top part and I just name this top. All right, so I'm gonna hold spacebar down, right click on the word Maya and go to my front view. Kind of keep this zoomed out. You can really just hit F to focus like that. Because what I'm looking to do is start by creating my root joint. So I'm gonna hold the spacebar down and go to create, or I'm sorry, go to skeleton and then go down to create joints. And I'm just gonna click in the center here. I'm gonna change my radius to maybe 10 for now. And um, let's press W to grab our move to, oops. Let's try that one more time. 10, then I'm gonna hit escape. Come on. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna hit W. And I wanna go to my right view and just make sure that's centered to his body. And what I'll do is I tend to plan out uh, some holding X here just to find the center of my character here. Make sure that's centered there. And if you're not seeing your joint um, through the body, you might not have X-ray mode on, which is this right here. Uh, so I plan out my joints. So I hold shift and I just start copying this. So I place one right here at the hip. I go straight down for the knee. And these must be straight, by the way. So even though my geometry um, isn't exactly perfect, uh, you want to make sure that these are kind of centered to the body. So something like that. You don't want them off. All right. Something like that. And then I'm going to hold shift, bring this down. And I might just shift all of this way over. Like that. All right, and I'm going to do some, um, let's see. And one of the good things about having this is what I can do is I can lock the layer here. I'm going to go to my right view here. You want to um, give your knee a slight bend in the front. So you want it off, uh, you want it to be sort of in this direction where these two, the hip and the ankle are on top and the knee is slightly forward. And then for this, uh, I'm going to pull this back actually a little bit more so that it's lined up again with the center. Let's pull both of these, all three of these back a little bit more. They just need to be nudged back a little bit more like that. And let's grab our hip like this. We're going to create one for the ball of the foot. And one more here for the front of the toes. Now, what you want to do is reverse parent this all the way back up the leg. So I'm going to name this um, ball underscore. Well, let's start off with the side. So left. So that's L underscore ball underscore, or I'm sorry, toe. And 
And then I tend to just copy that L underscore here and then do the same thing. L underscore hip, this was L underscore knee. And then this should just be root. And then what I'll do is I'll hold shift and reverse select them and hit P. And what that'll do is it'll parent the joints so that I can reverse each one. All right, let's go back to our perspective mode. Let's go to our front view. Now, because this is, um, I did have it modeled slightly off like that, um, as long as it's straight here, when I go to rotate this a little bit like this, it won't be uh, that off or that bad, but you want to kind of keep it as straight as possible. And you'll see what I mean by like any potential future issues when we go to create the IK handles. And I might actually uh, go against what I said and start doing some IK handles uh, or just focus on finishing the legs in this video. Uh, well, not finishing them because um, I want to create controllers and stuff. So here's this hip joint. What I'd like to do is mirror this across to this other side of the body because he's pretty symmetrical. So what I'm gonna do here is under my, um, you can see under your skeleton tool here, what we're looking for is our mirror joints. So here's mirror joints here. I'm gonna click the options box. It has a nifty thing where it says search for L underscores. So you can search for a certain text and you can replace it with something else. I'm gonna do R underscore, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit apply. Now notice it flipped it in this direction. What we're looking for is we wanna go across um, the, uh, we wanna go across the Y axis. So now when we hit apply, you can see it jump to the other side. Now, where the issue is with it being off, off side, like a little bit slightly off, is if it's too too off when we go to add IK handles, the legs won't bend right. So what I want to do really quickly is I'm going to create uh, a couple of IK handles. And what an IK handle allows you to do is it, it can lock the feet in place so that it's a little bit more natural when you animate, especially walk cycles. So let's go ahead and create those. So I'm going to go over to, um, let's see, I think I believe they're under skeleton. Yeah, create IK handle tool. And I'm just gonna click here and go down to the left. And I'm gonna hit G to redo last action. And that's all that's doing is I'm going back to skeleton, going to create IK handles. Click on this hip. And then I'm gonna click back on this ankle here. Now, if I move this down, it's gonna still move. And the reason for that is we need to parent those IK handles that we just created to a uh, foot controller. Now. If you don't see your IK handles, make sure that you, um, you, you turn on all of your visibility options, right? Like, so I'll do none here, but you can do show, um, like and here's manipulators, all that stuff. That's what we do want. And then you wanna do polygons to show your polygons in the view. Let's make sure I click on polygons. Um, and down here is IK handles. And then we wanna show joints. So let's look for our skeleton. Here's joint. And um, when I click inside of here, it looks like my IK handles are very tiny. So let's go over here to, let's see, display, heads up display, or uh, display animation IK handle size. And you could adjust the way your IK handles see, look in your scene. So if I max them out to 10, cause it looks like this is pretty big. You could see now I can see my IK handles. You might, yours might be smaller and I can grab them and I can move them. And you could see I'm actually moving that joint around. See that? What I tend to do at this point is I'll select the root. And this is why I kind of keep these at different layers. Uh, I'll select the root and then the pants 
uh, let's make sure that these are selectable and the shoes here and I go and I do a quick skin uh, to it and then I'll adjust the skinning later. And I always want to make sure that my joint is right across a seam, like a, uh, an edge seam so that it bends a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to hold spacebar down and um, go over to skin here and I'm going to expand bind skin. Now what I tend to do is I will do um, either joint hierarchy if I'm building it in this method, but if I've already built out the other part of the rig, I'll do selected joints and select it. And then to give myself a little bit more, uh, a little bit less of a fall off, because I don't necessarily need five joint controlling it, I'll do like three point bone weighting. So this is the number of bones. So that, like these three joints can affect a single vertice, um, which is helpful in like a knee area, but really three is good. Two to me is even better. Where it says um, skinning method, classic linear, I do dual quaternion. It gives you more of an even distance across. So I'm going to just go ahead. There's actually some very, very good methods, but they take quite a while. Um, and let's see, like, for example, geodesic vexel will give you a resolution fall off of how much you need. Um, that's not bad either. Well, actually, let's try that, but it takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to hit bind skin and then I'm going to pause it because it could take a second. Okay, so let's select our IK handle and take a look at that binding. You can see it's actually pretty good. It's not too bad. It could use a little bit more love. Um, and we are going to get into painting weights. So let's go ahead and um, quickly uh, just create some nerve controllers that are going to be where we can lock our feet to the floor. And then... Um, that way, when we move this down, we can start to think about emulating uh, real foot controls. Now, these pockets are something I'm still modeling and wrapping. I haven't had a time to get to. So maybe I'll, I'll jump back in the other video and I'll finish that up and then you'll be able to see it here. But anyway, I'm going to go to create. I'm holding space right on. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to nerves primitive, uh, nerve circle. And uh, I don't think I have nerve circles on. So here we go, nerves curves. I'm just going to go ahead and hit R and then scale this down. Then I'm going to hit W and move this in place. Now, what I tend to do is I just roughly shape it out at first. And then I'm going to go to my front view. I'm going to hit W. And I'm going to go ahead and um, hit V like Victor and snap that to these angle joints. So let's go ahead and turn off the visibility here for a second because it was snapping the vertices as well. Um, and what I'm going to do is I want to bring it down to this level, but not until I create another one to, uh, for the other foot too. So for this, I'm just going to call this L underscore foot underscore CTRL, all caps, because this is going to be a controller. I'm going to hold shift. Then um, I'm going to hold alt down and I'm going to snap it to this ankle. Oops, sorry, let's hold V down. Not alt. There you go. I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to hold X and snap this to the floor. And then I want to clean these out. I need these transforms frozen. And the reason for that is when I go to animate these, I don't want, I want to be able to set this from a zero point for animation. So I'm just going to go to modify freeze transformations to freeze those. Um, and this one is, needs to be renamed as well. So let's go ahead and name this R foot controller. All right, and then um, let's go ahead and grab our IK handle. So I'm hitting Q just so you could see it. It'll turn bright green if you know it's selected. Hold Shift, and I'm going to hit P to parent. So I'll parent each one of those. Now let's bring this back. And what you can see by having those foot controllers in place is when I select this root and I bring it down, the feet are locked in place. So I can create a sitting pose. Um, now, what's cool is you can actually hold shift and select both of these. And I'll usually right click and go to control vertice. And this won't hurt it too much. Um, let's actually do show all for a second so I can make sure I get all these. And I'll, I'll start to uh, just grab these. Now, if you're, if you're having trouble like I am where I'm like hitting the joints instead of that, you can actually um, let's hit sh uh, control space to bring all this stuff back. Up here, you can expand out our selection options. Let's see. If 
There we go. Um, and I can uncheck joints, and now I won't select the joints. If I uh, uncheck joints or NURBS curves, and now I can only select the geometry. Here, there we go. So I can only select the geometry. But I don't want to select the geometry. That's this button here. I just want to play with the NURBS curves for now. So now I can just select those, right click, and hit Control Verts. So let's select both. There we go. Now I can go in here and sort of play with both. I can also, if I had them parented, I can turn on uh, mirror mode. Anyway, I want to kind of make it look, feel a little bit more like a foot. So I'm going to just sort of pull each one of these in. Actually, I should just do this right. Let's select both, hit R, and pull these in. Let's select both of these, push these, select both of these. It's just shaping it a little bit so it looks more like a giant shoe. This might be a little bit excessive. All right, so now when I move this around as well, I can bring the foot up. We're going to take care of that toe stuff in a, uh, another video. Um, and then we're also going to be building out where you have a slider where you can actually control how the foot pivots and stuff.